Well, we are taking a look at eSword file, uh, Library Manager. It's a third party software. This is how it comes up. Basically, basically nothing to select yet, so it's easy to mistake. Like, why? why what happened? So, you want to come up here first to select category right here. Drop down menu, Bibles. And show the new Bible, so I'm in the right folder. If you display nothing here, after clicking up in here, after clicking one of these categories, and nothing shows up, you are in the wrong folder. You need to browse to where the uh, eSword folder is. Okay, visible. If these boxes are checked, it will be visible to eSword. If you unclick it, eSword will not see it. Okay, this is the order. You click on the order and backwards or forwards. File name, you can do alphabetical forward or backwards. Same with the tab name, description, um, size, you can go high to low or low to high, date. But we want to go with the order for now. The order showing is ABP plus is first. And if you look over here in eSword, you'll see that ABP plus is first. I want King James, King James plus first. I want to go down here and find it. And what I learned is if you cl if you click on King James Plus and move it up and change the order, King James without the plus will be up there with it. I don't know how that works. It just happens. You have to click for every movement up. You have to click. So okay, that's now first. Maybe to the second. Let's go down, let's put up Textus Receptus. Let's move that up. Okay, that's the order. So I want to save the current order right here. Click on that. Yes, I want to rename it. And it renames your whole list to be um, in the order that you chose them to be. See, I just chose King James Version Plus, but it put up King James Version without the plus. So I don't know why it does that. It just does. So you might just have to deal with with it up there. If you don't want it up there, you just have to deal with it. Um, if you delete it, it'll just come back because it's one of the main program um, modules. Okay, uh, showed you that uh, tab name renaming. I want to rename a tab. Uh, let's be. Let's change A B P plus to A B P plus plus. Double click on it. Double click again. Get in there. Uh, add another plus. Click off of it. Click yes. And now that has changed. You notice nothing over here in eSort has changed because you need to close and restart it. To uh, display current, display any changes. Okay, now King James version, King James version plus, the GNTR plus, and ABP plus has been changed to ABP plus plus. So let's change that back. Oh, wrong one. Take away the one plus. Yes. Close and restart. And now ABP plus is now back. Well, plus plus is now back to plus. Um, like I was saying, if uh, if you change this visible to invisible. It will not be seen by 
eSort. But this one, it won't even be in this list for you to um, adjust these views and no views. But if you unclick on these, then you will not view them in the tabs. Also, if you have a lot of tabs and you would like it to be in a single line, eSort has this option here. From down here, click that display to display tabs in a single line. And there you have tabs in a single line. Don't like that option? Go back, unselect display tabs in a single row, click OK, and they come back. Um, I think I've covered everything. Thank you. Yes, I did miss something. Um, when you have a tab name and you have two nav tab names of the same name, one will show and one will not show. So if you had two, uh, let's see, ASVs, you will you will see one and not see the other. So this is a good way to check to see if you got two tab names of the same. Just hit tab name and you can run down a list. So these are the same, but this is a plus. Um, Move this over to see. You know, this is a plus. Thought they were the same for a second. And here, these are the same, but this one has a plus. So as long as they're not the same, they will be seen in eSort. So this is a good way to check for um, tab names of the same name. Uh, now I think I've uh, covered everything. No, I haven't covered everything. If you want to restore this this modified list in the orders, come down here and it will restore the default file namer and order. So you click on that and it will restore the uh, order and file names back to the way they were and then It'll change in ESO the next time you open it. And, and, uh, yeah. uh, if I didn't forget anything else, then I guess this is it.